Okay, continuing on what I have now, I got uh, a couple of things in the mail. One was the first of my full flow fittings here. This one is a swivel and I put it in there and my concern, it's way bigger than the one that I have on my other motor. So my concern was that the pulley, and I have a kind of a nicer pulley coming, but my concern was that the pulley would hit it. But when I look at that, pulley won't hit it, but the question is, is what's up with the engine tin? So when I get the engine tin, I may have to get the other little 90 degree one so that this comes out like a centimeter earlier. Um, the other thing that I got is my uh, um, so this guy I got for the um, for the bottom side of this. There we go. All right, so it goes on here. Um, and I'm gonna clean off the, clean that off. And I'm not putting on my, uh, I, I may get a deep sump on this, but I'm just not gonna do it yet. I think that, uh, the deep sump might've been one of the causes of my oil leak. So that was an annoyance, but I'm just gonna try it without a deep sump initially. And then if I want to get one on my first pull, I can, I can do that. So what I'm going to do is I clean that off a little bit. Probably, let's see, I should probably try to clean this off a little bit better. And I know some people might not think that's a good idea, but I'm going to put due to oil leakage I'm gonna do it just very thin Parmatex aviation I really started putting Parmatex aviation on everything that might that might leak oil because I just these little drips and it's just such an annoyance and once you're once the car is all assembled and put together you, you know trying to troubleshoot where the leak is coming from is a huge pain so you know i'm gonna put that on put my first paper gasket on there and this guy has got to let's see this has got to sit on the paper gasket, that's gonna get a little armor text on it as well. So it looks like this. And just slide onto the, let's see if it fits. Okay, that looks good. It's oil pickup. Now, back to the Permatex. Just goop it. I did not make it too thick. Okay, looks good. We got one more gasket. That is what it looks like. And then I have this special plate here. I'm not going to tighten this down. This has a copper uh, copper crush washer, but I'm going to wait on uh, crushing that down. I bought a magnetic uh, oil plug and. What that'll do is um, it'll magnet the little shards of metal that come off of the, you know, kind of like in the gearbox when you have the magnetic. And so I bought one of those also for the drain plug here, I'm waiting for that to show up in the mail. Okay, so there's my Permatex on there. 
Let's hope that these studs are long enough. Appear to be. I think that is going to seal just great. So that's. I'll put these guys on there. I'll tilt this a little bit towards us. Let's see it. So there is Permatex on each of those. I'm going to just. nuts on here figure out which uh, socket wrench now this goes to like five foot pounds really really light uh, torquing on this so let's get the, let's get the torque wrench where is the torque wrench Go. And then we need this to have the let's see. what even is that? Okay, so now we've got that. That gives us uh, the bottom the setup. I'm still waiting on my straight uh, fitting for the this is a a an eight a n fitting that I have uh, for my oil lines, and that's already in the bus I've, on the other engine, going to the external oil filters and cooler. So. Okay, uh, next I'll put on the uh, oil filter. All right, gonna set up this, uh, this guy, which is my oil filler. So basically it has a uh, breather fitting here, so I'm gonna put some of this high temperature thread sealant on it. around without getting it inside okay that looks pretty good now from this guy just do this and I'll we'll just tighten this down this one is not that critical in terms of being tight. There's not really much pressure on it. Okay, it's good. Now this has a rubber gasket on it, so I'm not gonna do any sealant on the bottom one. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this, so this guy is gonna go on there. I want this thing to basically go like this, so I'm gonna tighten it as all right, what I did, and this is a little bit of a hack, let's see how well it works, is I put a bunch of thread tape on here. The thread tape will make it tighter going in here because it was basically uh, not going the right amount before uh, getting too tight. So hopefully this will make it so that when I come around to this side, I'll stop right here. I don't want to go further. I think I basically got this. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. So, let me get the gasket and put this guy on there.
Okay, so I know I'm doing some of this a little bit out of order because I'm waiting for my head studs to arrive and some other uh, things to just arrive in the mail. But what I've got is I, uh, I went ahead and this is about as tight around as I can make the, the uh, oil filler. And I think that's fine because then it faces out of the engine compartment just a little bit when you're filling it. So it's not lined up completely, but I think it's okay. And um, then what I've got is I've got my, my gaskets um, and everything for the oil filler and my uh, the sort of the little baffle. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to use uh, Permatex, Permatex Aviation on there and uh, just to try to make sure nothing leaks. So I have two gaskets and the little baffle. All right, so start this process here. Let's see if you can see it. I will flip this around a little bit and put this here. See if you can see it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. So it goes just around here. I found out something new which is that if you get this permatex on there too much what you can do is take a carb cleaner and just it just dissolves it right off so if you, the case gets too nasty you just clean it off with either parts cleaner or carb cleaner okay so that's the first one. Let's put this gasket on there. I sure I'm doing it a little out of order. Now the baffle dips in and the curvature goes to the left. So just get a little bit more of this vertex. Okay. And we'll just slide this guy on there. So again, the curves go down, the baffles, everything goes down. That's the orientation. Now I've got another gasket. So go around this guy. And this isn't under a lot of pressure or anything, so this isn't that important in terms of the ceiling, but you do dump a bunch of oil in there. All right, and this goes off to the right. So I'm going to permatex the bottom of this. Perfect. Now, this will go on there, and I'm going to use four of these. Let's see. I'll go ahead and use washers. Since I've got them sitting there. One, two, three. Well, I'm not going to bother permatexing on the washers themselves there's not really pressure coming back up on these the way it is on the case halves
And on my 13, I'm just gonna tighten this down with the little 13. 